Welcome to the Robert W. Craig Campground at Jennings Randolph Lake. This is an Army Corps of Engineers site, um, dam site that was uh, created in order to help with flood control and water quality. The Robert W. Craig Campground consists of two loops. There's a front loop and a back loop. There are 68 sites in total. They're each $22 per night and are electric only. 20 amp, 30 amp, and 50 amp connections at each site. There are also several camp host sites as well. When you first come into the campground, you will see the water fill and also the dump station. There are two bathhouses here. On the front loop, there's a full bathhouse, and on the back loop, there's a half bathhouse. Of course, that has no showers in it. This area is actually located fairly close to Kaiser, West Virginia. It's probably the closest larger town. Um, also not terribly far from Cumberland, Maryland. Jennings Randolph Lake is formed from a dam that was made in 1981. It dammed up the north branch of the Potomac River and it helps for flood control and water quality control in the area. The length of the lake is approximately 6,000 feet long and to the t from the bottom of the dam to the top is about 296 feet. Here at the lake there are trails to hike, there's an unguarded swim area, there's two boat launches, one on the West Virginia side and one on the Maryland side, and there's also three pavilions that can be rented. Should have mentioned this while I was down at the lake, but apparently there's a lot of fish in this lake and fishermen have some really good success. They even have trout that are up to six pounds in the lake, according to the information on the pamphlet they have. Um, they have brown trout, rainbow trout, walleye, uh, and several other species as well. So if you're a fisherman, it seems like a good place to catch some fish. One thing I thought was really cool, there's a 3D archery range here. You do have to bring your own bow and arrows, uh, but they have so many different types of targets. It sounds pretty cool. I'm gonna try and get some pictures and video here in a little while. So I just got done walking the 3D archery course, which is right behind the basketball courts here behind me. It's about a half mile walk, and there's approximately 30 targets through there. There's some kind of natural targets like a bear, deer, actually several deer. There's a skunk. I believe some sort of like a bighorn sheep, um, several turkeys, and then they have some funny targets like a cobra, a, um, a fish. There's even a stegosaurus in there. Now on the brochure it advertises a T-Rex, but I could not find that. I'm thinking it probably got stolen along the way because there was one target that I couldn't find as I walked through. Uh, but they are really cool if you're into archery at all. Uh, it would be pretty cool to actually go walk that and see it. So I didn't see this to the way out, but they do have the archery rules posted. They also do ask for a $5 donation for anybody 12 and up. They also have a few tournaments listed that are coming up this year. And they do supply uh, scorecards and pencils here. And then there's the vault where you're supposed to put your donation. This is a pretty cool course though. Definitely recommend it if you come here. Following this, I'm actually gonna do a campground walkthrough so you can see each site that is at the Robert W. Craig campground. If you have any questions or comments, you can please leave them below. Be happy to try and reply as I have some time to do so. Thank you. This is the entrance to the campground. And right here when you first come in is site number one. It is 44 feet long and it has Quite a bit of area. As you come up past site one, you make a right turn to come down this road here. This is to the front loop. And this is site two. This is 74 feet long. This is site three. This is also 74 feet long. So you can see it easily holds a camper and two vehicles. This is site four. This is also 74 feet. This is site five, it's listed as a 50 foot site. This is site number six, this is listed as 77 feet. Right next to site six is the camp store. You can get a few things if you missed it. Just a note, it is cash only. And then next to the camp store is a pavilion they use for activities. Just freshly paved in concrete as of yesterday. Across from the camp store is a little play area for the kids. 
And then next to that play area is the bathhouse. This is the full bathhouse on the front loop. So this is the only one that has showers. Across from the bathhouse, there's the dumpster. And then there's three unnumbered camp house sites that are one right after the other right here. Okay, this is technically site seven, but they have it as a camp house site. So my earlier statement about being three unnumbered sites in a row was not correct. So site seven is never going to be a double. This is site number eight. They have it listed as being 52 feet long. This is site number nine. It's listed as a 48 foot site. I'm just going to pan over here next. This is site 10, and they have that listed as a 40 foot site. This is site number 11, they have this one listed as a 45 foot site. This is site number 12, this is listed as a 42 foot site. This is site number 13, this is listed as a 48 foot site. One thing I'd note for an RV, you may have some trouble getting your awning out on this site because it's pretty close to a tree right there. This is site number 14. They have this one listed as 44 feet. This is site number 15. This is listed as a 40 foot site. This is site number 16. This is listed as a 40 foot site. This is site number 17. This is listed as a 56 foot site. This is site number 18. This is listed as a 50 foot site. This is site number 19. This is listed as a 30 foot site. It is pretty short. Might have trouble getting your tow vehicle here if you're pulling an RV. Next to 19 is site 20, but this is a camp host site, so this probably will never be available to rent. This is site number 21. It's listed as being a 50 foot site. And I'm just going to pan right over to site 22. It's right next to it. That is listed as being a 50 foot site. This is site number 23. It's a 50 foot site. It also has some water access there. Of course, this is not just for this site. It's for any of the sites in this general vicinity. So if you don't want other people kind of walking into your site, you may not want this one. The water spigot is not threaded, so you won't be able to hook it up to your camper directly, but you can fill some sort of a water jug and bring it back to your camper or site. This is site number 24. This one is 50 feet long. This is site 25. It's listed as being a 50 foot site. However, it looks a little shorter than that. A lot of nice grassy area play on if you have any kids but it's kind of on the wrong side of the camper that's the only downside to it. Right next to site 25 is a nice little parking area. This is also just down from the bathhouse which you'll be able to see right there. And also behind this little parking area there's a little amphitheater. You kind of see the white panel back there. It's right behind this parking area. This is site number 26. This is listed at 75 feet. I'm just going to pan right over to site 27 is listed as 77 feet. This is site number 28. It's listed at 78 feet long. Now I'm pan over to site 29. This one's listed at 76 feet. This is site number 30. This is listed at 74 feet. There's also another water spigot here as well at this site. This is site number 31. This is the first one in the back loop, as you can see from the sign. The rest are all in the back loop. This is 39 feet long. This is site number 32, and it's a 50 foot site. This is site 33. It's also listed as a 50 foot site. It does have quite a bit of room in the back. Directly across from site 33 is the half bath and also dumpster. It is quite full, but this is being filmed on a Sunday afternoon after everybody had just left and put all their trash in there. This is site number 34. It's listed as a 46 foot long site. Quite a bit of grassy area. This is site number 35. It's listed as a 45 foot site. 
This is site number 36. This is listed as a 47 foot site. This is site 37. This is listed as a 32 foot site. And this also has some water access here at this site as well. This is site 38. It's listed as a 57 foot site. And also right next to this one is a trail that leads to the full bathhouse on the other loop down through the woods there. This is site number 39, that is a 53 foot site. And I'll pan over right next to it, site 40. It's gonna be a 52 foot site. This is site 41, this is listed as a 50 foot site. There's a good bit of grass here. Although it is on the wrong side of the camper for those who have campers. Directly across from site 41, it's a pretty large grassy area. Also a water spigot. Then you can see the half bath house there in the background, it's pretty easy to get to. Continuing to pan over, there's a little play area over here as well. This is site 42. This is listed as a 34 foot site. This is site number 43. This is listed as a 35 foot site. This is site 44. It's also listed as a 35 foot site. This is site 45. It's listed as a 42 foot site. This is site 46. It's labeled as a 48 foot site. Site 47 is 42 feet long. Starting with site 48 and ending at site 50, they're double sites. It's listed as a 40 foot site, however there are two driveways to it. I assume they're both about the same length. This first part here has the electric. And then as I pan over to the second part, there's no electric on this side this is all one site. It's also $26 per night. This is site 49. This again is one of the double sites. There is water access right there on the right hand side. This is the first part of site 49 with the electrical access. As I pan over, this is the second part of it. it doesn't appear to be any electric on this part. This is site number 50. It's again one of the double sites. So it's $26 per night. There's the side with the electrical I pan over, this is the second part of it. There does not appear to be any electric on this side of it. So it actually appears as site 50. There's actually a third driveway that's part of it as well. Again, there's no electric here, but it appears to also be part of site 50. So there's actually three camping areas. This is site 51, but it's also labeled as a campo site, so I doubt it'll ever be available for a site rental. Next to site 51, there's a parking area, and also the entrance to the high timber trails here, dumpster, and even a little bit more parking. Plenty large enough to fit boats if you're gonna bring a boat along. This is site 52, it's a 35 foot site. This is site 53, you can see there's some water access there on the right hand side. This is 67 feet long. This is mostly paved, but some of these now will have some gravel towards the back. I think they used to extend the sites. This is site 54. This is a 34 foot site. This is site 55. This is a 66 foot site. Again, that's with the addition of the gravel in the back. This is site 56. This is a 28 foot site. It'd be pretty hard to get an RV in this site, unless it's a pop-up and maybe a small vehicle. Otherwise, you might have to park your vehicle somewhere else. This is site 57. This is listed as 76 feet. Again, that's with the gravel at the back. This is site 58. This is listed as a 45 foot site. This is site 59. It's listed as 78 feet. This is site 60. It's listed as 50 feet. This is site 61. I believe it's probably the longest one here. It's listed as 92 feet. This is site 62, it is 53 feet long. This is site 63, it is 80 feet long. This is site 64, this is 77 feet. Right next to so a pan over, that's going to be site 65, and that's a 76 foot site. Directly across from 64 is another camp who's site. It's unnumbered. This is site 66, it's 72 feet long. And 67 is 86 feet long, it's right next to it here. 
And finally Site 68, that is 76 feet long. This is Picnic Shelter 1. There's six picnic tables here. On the side there's also a nice grassy area with also some horseshoe pits. On this side you get a little bit of a, of a view of the lake and a bigger grassy area as well on this side. This is Picnic Shelter number two. Definitely a much better view of the lake from here. Also seems to have a couple extra picnic tables between inside and out. And also it does have a charcoal, actually two or three charcoal grills are here. And then there's one at picnic shelter number one, which I forgot to mention. On the other side, there is a play area for the kids and also a restroom here as well. This is the gazebo. It's kind of right in between the shelters one and two. And I believe I forgot to mention all three of these are $60 a day and all three do not have any electric access. Uh, the gazebo here has four picnic tables inside and they have three here outside. Also has another charcoal grill here in the middle. This has a beautiful view of the lake as well as did uh, picnic shelter number two. This is the pavilion you can rent that actually has electric in it. This is also $60. Definitely not in a good location as far as the views are concerned. The other ones down by the lake are certainly prettier, but this one does have electric if you need it. It's essentially right at the entrance to the campground. You can kind of see the roof of the um, welcome center where you first come in. It's right over the hill there. We do have a portage on here. Also have a couple of charcoal grills, and then horseshoe pits, and the basketball court right here. The 3D archery course is just over there as well. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I will try and do more campground review videos in the future, and just to show everybody what it's like. I know my family and I really enjoy being able to see a campground before we arrive, so we kind of know what to expect.